We've already lived under the biggest reparations program in the history of modern society, and it's been an abysmal failure. You want to know what true liberation would look like? Black America taking responsibility for their actions and doing the three to four things that are necessary to succeed in America. Getting married before you have kids, graduating from high school, get a job, any job, and not committing crimes. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on a new video. Today, I'm going to be checking out Charlie Cake. Okay, I call him Charlie Cake. <laughs> Crushes raise beating pro affirmative action activist okay uh this is gonna be amazing let's get right into it and uh, my question has to do with affirmative action and i mentioned several times earlier um in the history of the united states as we all know um civil war ended in 1865 and um a lot of people think that you know slavery ended back then but there was um another form that was it's called indentured servitude that lasted until you know around the early 1900s and so the, this form sort of continued and then um, we, we got the civil rights movement in 1965 and so uh, my question is you know given the history there there are you know, injustices done on people of color and um, if do you think that they deserve some sort of you know reconciliation and if so if not with affirmative, affirmative action what form and if affirmative action is the answer um, which According to your answer earlier, not not exactly what you, what you agree with, but uh, for for what um, length, right? How how long should it last? No, that's my question. N no, like no reconciliation, no reparations. We've already overly prioritized in society. I'll prove it to you. There there is institutional black privilege in society today. True. And no one wants to say it out loud. True. Blacks can get into college with lower test scores. They get more acting contracts. They're literally in every other television commercial, right? They're allowed to, literally, if a white person says a certain word, you could be completely terminated from public life, right? And so we spent trillions of dollars post-Great Society, post the Civil Rights Act paired with the Great Society. Did any of that help? No, actually, blacks got poorer on average. And so before the Great Society, 75% of blacks growing up in America had, two, had a, a father and a mother in the home. Now that number is anywhere between 20 to 25 percent. So America got significantly less racist. We spent trillions of dollars in our urban corridor. We implemented affirmative action in our government hiring practices, in our corporate hiring practices, in our college admissions. And yet blacks on average are poorer than they were in proportion to the 1960s. What changed? And the answer is that we are not confident, we're not honestly courageous enough to empower black voices to say, hey, you have to fix the problem in your own communities. What? It's not about white guilt or white pandering. It's about how about you stay with the woman you impregnate? How about you stop embracing gangster rap culture? How about you stop listening to music that glorifies the worst part of society? And people are afraid to say this. And Thomas Sowell wrote an entire book about it. And the affirmative action creates race resentment is what ends up happening. And while I acknowledge that, yes, of course, there were laws that were unjust in the past, We've already lived under the biggest reparations program in the history of modern society, and it's been an abysmal failure. You want to know what true liberation would look like? Black America taking responsibility for their actions, actions and doing the three to four things that are necessary to succeed in America. Getting married before you have kids, graduating from high school, get a job, any job, and not committing crimes. This is what drives me nuts about the looting stuff, is that people say, well, it's, it's just a matter of, you know, it's a matter of survival. How about you stop acting like a criminal? How about you stop stealing stuff and we justify it? And the more that we do that, the more we are building a baseline of an acceptance. And here's the thing, just so we're clear, blacks make up about 12% of the American population, more specifically black men, 6% of the American population. They're responsible for 60% of the murders. That's a thought That's crime. massive. You have 6% of the American population doing 60% of the murdering. And yet white people are the problem? No. It's black privilege. I'm, on the, I'm not afraid to talk about it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Follow up? Do, do you want to follow up? Sorry, you want to follow up? Yeah. I have a short follow up. So yeah. thank you for your uh, response, and that was, that was great insight. Um, and it's, it sounds like you know, you're personally affected to an extent uh, through the, the effects that you talked about, you know, but through the black communities. And um, since we are affected, and you as well, do you think we have some sort of responsibility to um, sort of fix the problems on, you know, instead of just 
giving our opinion, actually doing uh, to an amount of yeah. what we can do? And if, if so, what would that look like? Yeah, it's a great question. So here's what's amazing, is despite the fact that Asians have harder job getting into college, harder job getting high, you, Asians are like the wealthiest group in America by far, despite all the things that are thrown. And you might ask the question, why? Well, it's because Asian Americans stay loyally married far more than any other ethnic group. They prioritize education and I don't want to overly generalize, but Asian moms don't put up with their kids committing crimes. Hmm. Am I right? Right? A bunch of Asians looting? That dog does not hunt in the Korean American community or the Chinese American community. So, yeah, there's like strong social fabric and cultural fabric that say it's not acceptable to engage in this sort of behavior. So, um, no, I, I, I don't think we should ask for any special treatment. I think this, what is the goal? The goal is to do our best to try to create a society that values meritocracy and values work ethic and things you can change, not things you can't change. True. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you. True. This is amazing. And it, and it's the truth. Is it something about this race battling? Shall I keep, keep on saying this same thing? In almost all his video, telling people who are race beta the facts, what is really happen? People feel like they need black people need some reparations, some some funding. Take this. We are sorry for what we've done. I know we didn't treat you well in the eighteen centuries. Nope. Charlie Cake was not present during the period of slavery. He was not present. So what should change is the black families, their arts. People are not talking about it. Their behavior, their arts. It's something that's been overlooked. It's the hustle. It's what is up. You, 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 boggling stars is bad. It's bad. We all know it's bad. But it feels like, no, 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 it's a hustle. No, it's not any hustle. It is bad. You are making another person go bankrupt. Having le no fathers at home is bad. The rate of divorce in black families is high. We are not talking about that. It is really, really high. So you, 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 you do no amount of money you will fund to black families will be enough to change character. You, you don't, you don't give money to someone to change their character. Nah. The person willingly want to change his character, he or her character. It is how it is done. If six percent of America is committing like fifty something percent crime, the man is committing sixty something percent crime in America. That is massive. It is big. There is something wrong. It's not just about money. So you 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 don't feel like there's something you should you should carry them to. You should fund them. You should give them a job. Bruv, if you do that, it just, the person will still go back to the same four mates. It is how it, it is a circle that we have to change. The black families have to change. It is, it is as simple as that. They have to choose to change. Their character, their way of life, they have to choose to change. Their music they're listening to, the gangster shit, the rapping, the rapping aspect about having five baby mamas, about ten baby mamas. It has to change. It, that is the only way we can change this. When a child sees his mother trying to hustle, doing many jobs like three jobs or four jobs in order to feed the family in a black family, in order to feed the family because the father is, is in prison or the father is dead or the father is not around. The child, being a man, being a boy, sees his mother doing that, want to man up, to want to support. By trying to support, he, he goes join some group of people to do some sh some bad things in order to support. A lot of people have come out from that. We, we all know. We all know people have done that and come out and say, oh, okay, I want to change. This was where I started from. But the act you committed is bad. That is when the lack of fatherhood, father figure in the family is missing. If, the, if there's a father there, in black families, the children tend to look up to the father. They tend to look up to the father and such art of crime, seeing the father being something really, really good in society, working for his means of survival, 
doing this job, is, is trying to survive. The child will not want to go commit any crime. He don't want to go and do gangster shit. No. He wants to look up, okay, this is, what, this is what your father is doing. This is what my father is doing. I want to do more than him, but in the right way, not in the wrong way. He sees his mother is not, his mother is not being stressed. His mother is happy being with the father. He wants to live a good life. The child, the children will want to live a good life. It's as simple as that. You, there is no amount of money you give to black families right now for reparation of what he's doing in the 18th centuries that will ever change that attitude now. Or that will ever change that character right now. No. Oh my goodness. We keep on saying this every single time. <laughs> that was all my videos. That I see Charlie keep talking about race, baiting. It keeps on saying the same, the same answer to people. It feels like they are not watching his videos. Because it is the facts. It is proven. Asian Americans, they are the most successful. It was not easy for them to, to get a good grant, but they have morals. They don't, they, don't, they don't glorify having 10 baby mamas. No. They don't, they don't do that. You see the difference? Attitude, character, matters. It really matters. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as can subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't know papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.